Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, Quadlock have sent us their entire phone mounting kit for us to put for an 11 out of 10 test. So let's get on with it. Cue the intro. So what actually has Quadlock sent us? What the entire kit is what I said because they literally have sent us the entire works. They've sent us their poshest handlebar mount pro. This is an aluminium one. There is a slightly cheaper one that's plastic, but this is the poshest one. So they've sent us that to put on the bike. They've also sent us the vibration dampener as well. Now the vibration dampener is pretty much designed to stop your phone from being shook around and break your camera. Because what happened to a lot of the iPhones was it was wrecking the camera with vibration. So they put quite a lot of research and development and made this vibration dampener. And on top of that, they've also sent us what's very posh of them, the waterproof wireless charger. How cool is that? So when you put literally your phone on your bike and you click it in, it charges. No messing around, putting in leads or anything whatsoever at all. Awesome. So last but not least, the universal adapter. Now this is what goes on the back of your phone case. That means that this can literally go onto any phone case whatsoever. And it's what you put on to click onto the mount onto the actual bike itself. Now they do make a massive selection of actual proper cases with this on. But I wanted to see if you could just stick it onto any old case and make it work because they don't make it for absolutely everybody. And one thing I noticed when I looked at the, quad, at the Quadlock website was, was that people were saying, we well, don't make a case for my phone. Like me, if you've gone cheap and got a cheaper phone, that might be the case. But this is what you need to be able to fix it. Now, all of this here is £157, what I've just priced up on their website. £157 worth of phone mounting kit. But I'm going to make it a little bit different on this because we're going to compare this to this. This is about £20 and I've used this for a little while and it has some problems but we're going to compare it to this and see if that's actually worth the money. So let's go through a really really quick installation of this product. This is a 199 case that I bought off of eBay that fits my phone. I'm going to stick the universal mount to but let's just whip through getting this on the bike so we can get it out on the road and get it tested. So this is the super quick guide to installing the quad lock system. So let's install the handle mount bar pro straight onto the bike. It looks super easy to do, so it should only take a couple of minutes. So this is what you get inside the handle bar mount pro, and it's pretty much done for you already. You've got different rubbers here for different uh, handle bar sizes, so you can match yours. So it shall fit loads and loads and loads of different bikes. It comes pretty much with the standard one already in. This is hopefully just a quick Allen key job on, and on top of that, then it's one more Allen key bolt through for the actual quad lock itself, and then it should be happy days. Slide this in here. Slide this through here. Oh my word, how easy is that? That is so simple. Pop that in there. Zip up the Allen key. So before you finally put on this part that comes with the mount itself, you need to put the vibration dampener on first. So it's literally popping this in here. Ain't going anywhere. Grab this part. Right, so that is the basic system on, but what I want to do is move this, I think, over here so it's more central. So when I click my phone in, it will be sort of landscape this way. So to be able to adjust everything that they've got on here, I believe that you just undo this screw here, pop that there like that instead. Then you can obviously then have it in any position that you want on your bike that's going to make a incredible difference. There we go, so that's now mounted. So here is the big test. Now, I haven't put the wireless charger on because my Samsung phone, I kid you not, doesn't have wireless charging. And if I put the wireless charger on, I can't tell you that it works really well or not. So this is due for an upgrade. So I'm gonna save the wireless charger for that reason. But basic phone mount put on with the dampener. Let's see how easy this is with the universal case. So you click it in. First time. So what we need to do now is pop this on the road and see how good it is. 
So I'm actually shocked how easy that was to install. Really, it's virtually done for you. You put that rubber in, you do up that screw, do a couple of screws up, but a boom, but a bing, it's done. But the real test now, this is quite an expensive kit. So what's it like actually on the road? Can you see the screen well? Let's just go and find out how easy this really is to use. And of course, we'll get the cheaper alternative out and put it on and we'll talk through that as well. Let's find out if it's worth all of this money. Well, here we have the road test. So I've got my phone, I've put in a route on my favorite app and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the bike with the quad lock system and test out. And let's see how easy this is. Let's give this a go. So straight off the go, that was super easy. Put in twist, click into place, but a boom, but a bing, it's in place. Happy days. I can see my screen really easily. And that's obviously quite important because you can angle it wherever you want to put it so you can see the screen. You can have obviously in landscape or portrait, so you can either have it on the side going up so you've got the full length of the screen if you prefer that. Or of course you can have it the other way and have it the way I've put it. So it's underneath the dials. It's that kind of smooth, clean look for me. And I quite like that. You can see the dampener, this road as you can see is awful, but you can see the dampener working really well there. It's taking that impact. And a lot of people had problems with a lot of phone holders where they were causing damage. And I think, believe it or not, I think Quadlock had the same problem before they brought the dampener in. And it was breaking iPhone cameras through the vibrations of the motorbike. That completely takes that away. So you know you're not gonna get a destroyed phone by the end of it. What I also like, you see how bumpy this road is, making my voice go. What I also like about this is just the ease of it. Just seriously, the ease of it, right? I'm just pulling up, but a boom, but a bing, straight away. I like the ease. I'm going, do you know what? I'm just jumping off, off my bike, going into a pub, beautiful lady, having a drink, looking cool. And I just pop my hand underneath, but a boom, but a bing, it's off. And then likewise, because you're a really nice lad like I am, you've popped in and you've bought a pint of milk for the granny and you're taking it round and obviously you your phone off and you can pop it straight back on so easily, but a boom, but a bing. <laughs> I just love how simple that is. I really do. Now I get it. People are going to click on the website for Quadlock and they're probably going to turn around and go, do you know what? It's around 80 quid for the system that's currently on there without the wireless charger. And they're gonna go, it's too much money, it's too expensive. But look at the convenience of it because you are literally clicking it in place and you're off. It's simple as that. But I'm gonna look at the 20 quid alternative and compare them because you could buy four holders for the 20 quid one compared to a quad lock. But you're gonna really, really trust that that is gonna look after your 500 pound plus phone up to grand these days, aren't they? mobile phone or is 80 quid actually not a lot of money to get exactly what you want and to keep your phone safe okay so let's have a look at the 20 quid alternative this amazingly bad system and the reason why i say it's mainly bad system because i have tried it and i stopped using it after one use and it's been sat in the garage since but you can't really put your phone in a case because it just messes up with the system itself it doesn't fit properly so you have to take your phone out of its case so you've got your raw phone there you have to click this into place like so okay it's easy to use it's just massively flawed it attaches at the back by literally putting it over the bars and screwing it into place so again like i said simple shoes and then what you need to do is then put these rubber oh no don't 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 come loose and then you need to put your rubber bands around here yeah let's try to retighten that because that tends to happen a lot so that's now Tight again. Yeah, this is what I said, loads of floors. These rubber bands push this stuff up. You then put these rubber bands around here. Every time you want to get on and off of your bike, this is what you do. It ends up hitting your buttons and messes around with it. It's really annoying. See, the phone now thinks I'm talking to it because it's pressing buttons. So let me explain my biggest flaw. And it's not the point that, the, that it's pressing the power button and it keeps pressing the screen with the laggy band and all that stuff. Ignore all that lot. Imagine you're going along. It's on. It's working. You're, you know, you've got your 500 pound one thousand pound phone and you go along you look down to look at your sat nav and what you notice is one of these little elastic bands one of these little elastic bands with the vibration has popped off and then another one pops off and your phone's slowly going up so your potential thousand pound phone is about to sling off on the motorway smash to pieces and there's no way you're going to pull over and walk back and have a play on the m1 trying to find your phone it's gone trust me 
that 20 pound system is rubbish absolutely rubbish but for me it's quality isn't it the quad lock system's quality i like this pro as well because i was like would i pay extra for that but i like the point it's got that aluminium black finish it, it just goes really well with the bike anyway for me the quad lock system the way that it works knowing that the dampener's there knowing that my phone's in a case it's protected but most of all it's just being able to click it into place no buttons are being pressed this isn't coming off that is worth every penny to me because my phone is now safe it's protected it's my sat nav i can see if someone's calling me it's just good and it's convenient and you're paying for the quality the other thing i quite like about the quad lock is that they also make and produce uh, like a holder for your phone so you can use the same place and everything just clicks into it if you've got a push bike you know people in leotards you can get a mount for that as well so they, they obviously make lots of products for lots of vehicles for the phone mount and that could be really handy because for me if i'm getting in my van or my car i can click it into place and be off but i think the most important thing for me and the kit at the end of the day is is that i generally feel like i'd spend my own money on that and and i think that's a big thing when you're reviewing a product i think the most important thing is you've got to say to yourself is it worth reviewing and would you spend your own money on it and taking this out of the box installing it put it on the bike how easy it works I generally would say it's worth the money because you buy it once happy days all you got to do is buy a case when you upgrade your phone or get the universal mount like i said and you're there ain't you you're just there so quad lock it's impressive it seems worth every single penny and i feel like the most important thing of all is my phone's safe so my opinion is is that that's worth every single penny i can't beat around the bush it literally does what it says on the tin doesn't it it's convenient it's well built it's a quality item and it also means that your phone is safe and secure and do you know what it says it all to me so well done quad lot really you've made a product that works properly and is worth every single penny i'm impressed seriously impressed you you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try